Hello, everybody out there watching. Uh, this is Survivor Now. My name is Tegwith, and we've got a fun, special Patreon episode today where we talk about Deal or No Deal Island, which was one of my favorite shows this past year with none other than Kim herself from Deal or No Deal Island season one. Kim, how are you? I'm fantastic. Tegwa, thank you so much for having me on here. I'm super excited. I'm ready to answer questions from my season and how they relate to Survivor, of course, and what may be speculated as coming up for season two. So I might, I might have a little tea. We'll see. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get into it. And I really just want to first off, start off by saying that like Deal and Odeal Island was such a surprise fun show for me. I really didn't know what to expect going into it because I was not a deal or no deal fan growing up. Uh, I didn't really watch it. And honestly, the main reason I watched it was because I was excited to see Boston Rob, uh, you know, the, the, the personality that he is on another TV show. And much to my surprise, uh, I ended up absolutely loving the show and watching it live every single week. Um, what was it like to, you know, what was the casting process like? To, did you know anything about the show? Were you a Deal or No Deal fan to begin with? You know, um, I was very familiar. I knew the show, the game show side of it, Deal or No Deal. But I also knew the Survivor side of it because I've watched Survivor since season one, like when it first aired. I'm not talking, binging, going back. I watched it every week as it aired. And um, so I was really intrigued by how are they going to combine these two very different shows, you know, with the reality competition show versus the game show. And um, so when I applied and went through the interview process and more interviews and all the wonderful paperwork and testing. They, they do a lot of testing. Um, you know, we had to swim. Um, even my final interview, the last producer that I spoke with before they said, here's your plane ticket. She, she turned around and goes, can you get down on the floor and do 10 push-ups?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm not exactly dressed for push-ups, but what the hell? And just kind of flipped my laptop screen down and did them. And she's like, oh my God, your old school push-ups, you do them with your knees. And it's like, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe they were testing you until the very end. That is so funny. They were yeah. really, really Treading putting you waters, it. swimming. Uh, I, we had to send in videos treading water and swimming laps of a pool and all of that stuff. Um, and, you know, of course, medical and psych and everything else that go into this. And um, yeah, there was, it was pretty extensive. Quite a few people spoke with and, wow. and every bit of it led to the next part. It's like, okay, will I get to the next one? Will I get to the next one? And then when I was on the last one, it's like, okay, am I going to be cast? Yeah. And then Spoiler I got the call. She was. <laughs> I got the call. I was like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be doing this this at this stage of life, but I kind of cannot not do it. Yeah. You know? It's incredible. I think, you know, and I think the interesting thing about like a new reality TV show, because I don't know if you were ever like there was another TV show around the same time that I started hearing about like the rumblings of this new deal or no deal island thing uh, called Million Dollar Island. This was like maybe a year mm -hmm. or two years ago. And that was scrapped. And so, you know, these new reality TV shows, you know, they don't always make it to production. And even True. if they do make it to production, they don't always, you know, make it to air. And um and it ended up being a really fun show. Uh, so it's like so cool that you are a part of like the founding season of a really, really cool reality TV show. It's like being a Richard Hatch or <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth or any of them from season one of Survivor where you still 47 years, 47 seasons later, 23 years later, and you still remember their names. Mm -hmm. But Million Dollar...